Hey friends, Doug Addison here. It's November 21st, 2018, and in the United States we're celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh, it's a kickoff of a time where we give thanks to the Lord for His goodness to us. Wherever, you know, wherever you are in the world, I just want to give you this blessing. And it was in my time with the Lord this morning. Uh, my Bible prophetically opens to things, and uh, it opened to Habakkuk 1.5. For, uh, the Lord said this, For I am going to do something new in your days, and you will not believe it, even if I told you. You know, the Lord is going to do something new. It is so powerful. And this is why we're having so much warfare right now. I know as a ministry in like Connection, I have an amazing team. We have gone through such warfare. I know you probably have experienced some yourself in the world. We're going through the, uh, the tragedies and the fires and the floods and the earthquakes. My goodness. But I'm telling you, the word of the Lord stands true over all of this. Habakkuk 1.5, God's about to do something new that you wouldn't believe if he told you. Well, the cool thing is about the prophetic is that we can tell you what's going on uh, and we can get an idea about the, the times and the seasons change. And that's where we are right now. We're in a seasonal change and the Lord is raising up uh, new things and other things are just going to go, uh, kind of go off to the side. But this is a blessing I want to give you right now to grab hold of the hope for which you were brought into the kingdom. The Lord brought you to this place, into the world for this time. We are sitting on some of the greatest times. And I tell you, God is speaking so strongly right now. The enemy wants to get you focused on the storm. Don't do it especially at Thanksgiving or the holidays. I'm releasing a podcast tomorrow. It's free. Actually, I just did it today. It's free. It's uh, it, it's episode 73. I want you to listen to this because it's going to help you. How to interact with difficult people during the holidays. And, uh, you know, by the end of the podcast, I tell you, I have this uh, strategy for you because I've had to work through these things in my life. And there's some just some things that you can do first of all, practical things, that you can shift the spiritual atmosphere. This is what I teach all the time. You don't have to be underneath the the spirit, you know, any type of spirit that's in a house, that's in around a person. You don't have to be there. You don't have to fight it either. In fact, there's ways that you can actually open people up as, instead of close them off. So I have uh, an instructional, quick instruction in this podcast on how to flip the spiritual atmosphere. I talk about it all the time for different uh, things, flipping it over your finances, over your relationships. Well, this one's relational. And also, what you know, how to deal with toxic people. Don't fight. Here's what I want to recommend. Don't Talk about politics. I'm telling you, bite your tongue if you have to. Don't do it. It just is, if it's something that's going to be, you know, a fight or if there's any of those things, just you just humble yourself and shift the spiritual atmosphere and begin to focus on something that's more positive, especially that that uh, might be with a person. And also, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fast this way on on, on Thanksgiving. Uh, you want join me on the negativity fast, fast from negative talk and thoughts, and then begin to focus on the Lord during the holidays, especially. And so you can actually be at perfect peace, and that God is about to do something in your life and in your time right now that that is beyond what we can understand. And I'm working on the prophetic word now for 2019, and it is good it's going to be a really good year as things are going to change and shift so i'm excited so lord i pray that right now for each person who's suffering and each person who is going through difficult times or maybe the holidays might be good might be bad no matter where we are but i just pray right now that you would bring the hope that hope and the peace that we need. Take authority over the witchcraft or the warfare. Take authority over the storms right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, a heads up, we have a Thanksgiving special going on. Uh, I'm not uh, going to, we're not going to do something. We decided not to wait till, uh, you know, like Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And we're just going to do it Thanks, starting through Thanksgiving all the way through the end of Monday. 
we're doing a 60% off of everything. So that starts tomorrow and uh, you just have to come to my website. There's no codes or anything. Uh, and that's all my online training and, uh, and also my Hearing the Voice of God 365. Uh, for the first time, we're going to offer uh, during this holiday time the $360 price. And this is a one-year online training school on how to hear the voice of God and how to uh, tell you. It's just good. It's the good stuff. So I uh, also want to give you a heads up that on Tuesday, it's called, it's a national, uh, it's actually an international uh, uh, Giving Tuesday on November 27th to kind of to offset the all the the shopping times and it's become international now, uh, you know, without focusing on, uh, you know, that we're not focusing on sales and stuff like that. We can also have a time to give to ministries. Well, we're a ministry. And if I tell you, if my daily prophetic words have blessed you or my the stuff that I do online, consider uh, giving on Giving Tuesday, and I'll I'll be releasing some more stuff on that. But it's going to be a good time. That's the prophetic forecast. Is that the Lord is still it? He's still in charge, and His word still stands. And you don't have to worry. In fact, step away from worry. Step away from all that negativity. So, Lord, we pray that right now. <laughs> blessing, the prophetic blessing that you would receive right now in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, hope you have a great weekend, great Thanksgiving, no matter where you are. See you soon.